Hey guys, so if you guys want to learn how to do this tutorial, then just keep on watching. And this is my first tutorial, so it's super exciting. And this is the look. And my lips are just like peachy. And on my eyes, it's just a really pretty neutral eye. And it has some liner, mascara, and most of the look is using e.l.f. products. So it will be really easy to accomplish. and. Um, for my cheeks, I'm wearing Melba by MAC, and for the lips, I'm wearing Napoleon's peachy color, um, and MAC's lip gloss in Floral Abundance, and those two together are really pretty, and this is the look, and I hope you guys have an awesome time watching this video, because it was really fun to do, so if you guys have any more requests on makeup looks, then just comment below, and I'll do them, because it's really fun, it's just so fun, okay, later guys, bye! Hey guys, so this is my very first makeup tutorial, and I'm super excited, so first thing, you just want to prime your eyelids with any primer that you have, it doesn't have to be any specific name, but, uh, I'm just using this one Eden by Urban Decay and I've already applied it to my lids and now I'm going to take the Hip Duo in Shady and I'm just going to open that up and I'm going to be taking this light brown here, it's very pretty, and I'm just going to be taking a brush, any brush that you have will do, close that up and you just want to apply all over your lid. And just kind of blend it out once it's on there. Then next, um, the rest is going to be all e.l.f. products. So I'm just going to be taking my Natural Light Palette. It looks just like this. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to be using this light brown here. Then I'm also going to be taking this coppery golden brown color and taking that into the crease. So with that, we are going to take a brush that looks like this just for the crease. So we're going to be taking that lighter brown, tapping off the excess. It looks like this. Sorry, I have a lot of swatches from Ulta. And we're just going to be taking it into the crease. And just get another swap of that and put it in the crease as well again. Then we're going to be taking that coppery brown color. It's a very nice shimmer to the crease. So we're going to be taking some more of that until we get the desired golden color. Just really focus into the crease until you get that golden copper color. Then we are going to take a, that blending brush again. We're going to be taking a different one. This is by Sony Kashuk, and we're just going to blend that out. So once you have blended that out, just want to make sure you blended that out enough. And if you need to, just apply some more. And now I'm just going to be taking my e.l.f. Butternut Quad. And it looks like this. And I'm going to be taking that golden brownie color. That one's a bit darker than the one that I use currently in the crease. So we're just going to be taking this crease brush once again. And we are going to dab it in there and get quite a bit of that product. Just tap off the excess, then get to the crease, and mainly focus on the outer part, just to give a definition, and then just take it in inwards, but just mainly focus on the outer part. So once you see that it's kind of getting a bit dimensional, you can get um, the blending brush that we are using earlier again by Sonia Kashuk and we are going to blend that in so we don't look like a clown. And just blend outwards, inwards, 
just like this. And now we are going to be taking the champagne beautiful color here. I really love this. And we're going to get it with our middle finger. And it looks like this. It's very, very pretty. We're just going to take that in the center of our lid. Just for more shimmer and just to give it more of a pop. And of course we're not going to leave it just like this. We are going to blend it out with the brush that we use for the hip eyeshadow. We're just kind of going to blend it in with the main color. Then we're going to take our blending brush once again so it won't look too messy. We're just going to go inwards and go outwards inwards. Then we are going to get an ivory color and just place it on our brow bone. Then blend again to blend it in. Then I'm going to do my eyeliner and I will be right back. So I have applied my eyeliner and I used the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. This is really good. I really recommend it. I think it gives a really fine line. And especially for me because I really do like to do thick and dramatic eyeliner. So now I'm going to be using, um, oh, hold on. We are going to be using eyelash curler. And I'm just going to do it once. So now I'm going to be taking the Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and I'm going to take off the excess and just apply it from the roots up and kind of curl it out. And just get it in the tips here. And if you want, you can do the bottom lashes, but I decided not to do that. It will just be a bit too dramatic for this natural look. And now I'm going to be taking uh, this Elf Eyeliner in Coffee. It comes out purple in the picture, but I'm not sure why. But it's black, and it's in the color Coffee. And it's just this really pretty, nice, subtle black, brown color. That's why it's called Coffee. So now we're just going to... Put the eyeliner inwards and then just light, lighten it out towards the outer part. So now that you've done that, you can do any more corrections and just brighten it up a little bit more in the center and this is the final look and i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys next time bye